How's it going guys? My name is Edward and welcome back to another brand new WWE Supercar video Season 7 Preview Edition. If you guys love what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for some more Season 7 content coming to you this Wednesday. Please consider coming to the stream as well. I would greatly appreciate seeing all you beautiful people at the stream when we just have the most amazing time ever for Season 7. I hope to catch all of you there. First things first, before I uh, reveal stuff, uh, I'd like to address something. Uh, many people thought I had Season 7 Early Access. And uh, to tell you the case, uh, this was completely false. Uh, I don't know where people thought I got Season 7 Access, but people obviously spread it. Some people got triggered over it. Some content creators also pretty much got, like, you know, they say they didn't care, but they mentioned it, and they, like, they didn't care, they wouldn't have mentioned it. First things first, let me just clear everything. I did not get Season 7 Early Access. I posted a troll tweet, literally a troll tweet of me stealing Super Zone Barbecue's Barbecue's uh, Season 7 content, and people took that as me getting early access, which made no sense at all. It was clearly a troll tweet. Anyone that's under the age of 14 probably didn't understand it, I guess. I don't know, but I had no early access, guys. You know this. I've never had early access for seven years. Supercard would never give me early access, all right? So people just stop spreading stuff. And also, I just want to announce, like, season seven... I would not be mentioning any names or anything like that. No drama whatsoever. It's just going to be about Edward and his community in Season 7. If you guys want to continue to badmouth me about stuff, keep bringing up my name, me living rent-free in your head, do so. I'm not going to retaliate at all. I'm just going to keep doing my own thing and worry about myself and think about my community. And that's it. Continue to grow it. And that's all I care about. Season 7 is going to be a big year for me. So please, if you guys want to continue, go right ahead. Uh, you're just wasting your own time or you're just getting into drama that you really don't even need in your lives. So I just wanted to address that. Also, before I post like content, please go check out the people who do have Season 7 access. They all deserve it. I know many people out there are maybe somewhat salty about not getting access. I'm not really as salty. you know. I, I, as much as I do this, I'm still privileged enough to still upload Supercard. It would suck if Supercard contacted me saying, Hey, Ed, we don't want you uploading Supercard anymore. Then, yeah, but remember, a lot of people's hobbies, careers have been because of this game. And for other people out there to show gratitude, like saying, how dare you not give me all the access, or I deserve it, and they don't give it. Just be grateful that we could actually upload this, because imagine if we couldn't. But please consider go checking out those other content creators. Go check out JB. Go check out Funky Town. Go check out Biggie Dude. Go check out a Patty. Go check out the German community, uh, Marcinios, I believe his name is. Just go check out other creators. Go check out Patty. Go check out these creators. They are amazing. Now, I know a lot of those people are UK. Obviously, 2K UK is so much more generous and so much more nicer. God, sometimes I wish I lived in the UK because it seems like living in the UK is you don't have to deal with the BS like 2K America gets. But either way, shout out to those guys. Go check out their content. And uh, I'm giving them all the credit for the video that I'm making today. Thank you to those guys for everything. Uh, please, all their channels are going to be down below. Uh, I'll try to get everyone's channels, but please consider go checking them out. I got a lot of my screenshots from Biggie Dude and Funky Town. I believe only those two guys I got my screenshots from. So go check them out. Their links will be down below. Go check them out. So Season 7 is two days away, guys. And we're going to go ahead and check out some of the stuff. Now, they did drop some cards. I'm going to show you cards. Uh, what else to expect. Now, guys, Super Coin stuff will not be in this. They have apparently told them not to reveal what Super Coins will give you and stuff like that. Apparently, Fusions will be out day one. So, I believe maybe up to Swarms here is where you can get up to, which is honestly amazing. Finally, Fusions are going to be freaking relevant for once. Because Fusions have never been relevant ever. So, if that is the case... Finally, they listen that because honestly, fusions are just a waste of time. I feel like they just could take up card space. They're just brand new images at the end of the day. So thank God fusions may have finally a meaning now because you know people want to get into swarm tier, and people and you probably all like, oh, what the hell is swarm tier? We'll get into that. As you all know, there's three tiers: biomechanical, swarm, and uh, behemoth. I didn't think they would make a tier off my size, but cool. Thanks, supercar. I love it. Anyway, guys, let's actually check out some of the cards right here, right now for you. 
So the first things first is we're going to start with, uh, it'll be random cards. I just took screenshots, random cards that would appear. So let's just go through them here. Uh, first things first is the technique. Now, now this is what the techniques will be. Uh, honestly, it seems okay. I don't mind it, but it could get confusing for some, especially like people who are young. But as you can see, like reversal after loss, 55 chance to replay a match with a different stat matchup. Kind of cool. Uh, after match, 20% chance to reduce damage taken by 15% in the next match. Okay. Inspire after a match, 20% chance to increase stats by 15% in the next match. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. Uh, before match, 20% chance to increase stats by 15% of total stats from a random card in deck. So these will be the techniques. Honestly, they, they're pretty cool. Now, as you all know, you could shuffle these techniques, get different ones. Uh, there'll probably be different ones out there, but yeah, overall, techniques are, it's something new, so I like it. Hopefully, it's just not really confusing for a lot of people to understand. So, uh, yeah, that's what techniques are, guys. Now, here is the Behemoth card, Triple H. I love this image. Now, for the Behemoth cards, I would say I like them number two. I really was worried, like, how Behemoth would look, and actually, they, look, they don't look that bad. It has, like, a Godzilla feel to it. Like, uh, Biggie do said, it does have, like, there's a tail guys, though. There's a city that he's probably going to destroy. R.I.P. Mostly, uh, usually it's Japan. Because <laughs> guys, that was really popular in Japan. But, yeah, overall, I love the card design. I love the image that they went with Triple H as well. So, hell yeah. Let's see. We got Asuka here. Overall, Asuka doesn't really have, like, the most amazing images ever. But, you know, they're pretty much, like, somewhat towards the same. I don't mind this Asuka image. Pretty decent overall. Uh, Jeff Hardy doesn't look bad, but I feel like we've seen this type of image a lot. So nothing like, oh my God about it, but at least the card design looks fantastic. I love behemoth card. Uh, all right. So let's get into the next one. We got Bailey again, another image that we pretty much have somewhat seen in a way. Nothing crazy about the image, but at least the card design looks fantastic. So looking forward to that. And here is the Swarm card. Now, people thought this would be the worst design. And in my opinion, it still is the worst design. However, I actually like the design. Uh, I don't really hate it as much as people probably will hate it. I actually do like it. And actually, I didn't go over stuff. As you can see, the stats on these cards will be roughly around 3.9 to 4 million, obviously with gear, 3.9 to 4 million stats just for the single alone. We'll show you what the pro looks like soon, but those are really, really OP cards, guys. Really OP. And Swarm Tier, you're looking at 3.5 for just a single as well. Now, looking at the stats, I think progressing in the tiers will be easy because as you can see, Swarm Tier, it only goes up to 3.5 for a single. And we already have cards that go up to 4 million in stats. So I think a lot of us will be Swarm tier day one, which is really, really, really good. We don't have to be biomechanical. Now, again, we're going to miss out probably on the biomechanical freebie. But a lot of people will be in the top tier when it comes out. As long as you got probably five slots, I think you should be A-OK. -okay. And you might be a Swarm tier. Which is good for me because, you know, I like being in the top, like near the top tier at the start. So that is good. I will show you the pro swarm stats in a few. Uh, here is the biomechanical car. And in my opinion, I think this is the best design out of all three. I love the Terminator feel of it. Unfortunately, it is the worst tier to come out. So this card won't mean much to me. Like probably the females only will mean much. But other than that, it's sad that the best design is the one that's just not going to be like bothered to me. But overall, these designs are great. 3.2, 3.1 million stats for a single. I don't know what the pros are, but I would assume around 3.5, 3.7, which is actually kind of weak. So biomechanical, pretty freaking sweet, guys. Ah, the great Walter. Uh, now, these aren't levels, but it's okay. We don't really need to see the levels, but we're just here for the images. Walter looking like a banging lad, as always. Uh, I would do that little dude. Oh, he's actually pretty big, but, you know, he, I'm little, so he could take me. Anyways, let's go ahead and get Braun Strowman. Uh, overall, don't like Braun Strowman at all. You guys know, know that. Not as a as a wrestler, just not my not my style. But overall, card, not bad. I like the updated image, finally. So we're going to have to see the... This is the jobber, Braun Strowman. All right. 
Oh my God, Kane. What an image, man. Obviously one of the best images in the game, in my opinion. Oh my God, the big red machine. I just get his vibes when he came back and attacked Xbox and hit Tori with that. They're like with this attire. I love it so much. This is probably going to be hopefully my freebie because I love this image. And you're sure the card's probably not the greatest in the stats, but I love this freaking image. So give me this card, please. I would accept that in a heartbeat. Uh, Finn Balor. Eh. It's like I've seen this image a thousand times, but you know, it's always Finn, you know? Uh, overall, he doesn't look as strong. I think Kane destroys him pretty much. If I see so, so myself. Uh, yeah. He beats him in three stats. Wow. Go on, Kane. Go on, bud. I love it. All right. Kane. OP. Now, PvP is going to be different this year. You will win super coins for obviously winning your PvPs now instead of LP. Uh, I believe it was 11. So pretty much it will range from different super coins. Now, you could do any PvP you want. You could do war, chamber, women's chamber, men's chamber, women's war rumble, men's war rumble. You could do whatever the hell you want. And I love it. That is just amazing. I now, we all know everyone's just going to do Royal Royal Rumble. It is a known fact because you get the most LP and you get like the most points possible. So it's a no-brainer that everyone is going to do PvP Royal Rumble. It's obvious. If you don't, then I don't know what you're doing. But yeah, you can do any PvP now, which is fantastic. So I love it. PvP will be fun again, somewhat. Uh, so here's some more cards. We got Cesaro with the thumbs. Sorry for the crappy quality, but you know, I had to take a screenshot in the weirdest way. And then we got big sexy Kevin Ash in NWO attire. I love that. It's overall not bad cards. Pretty nice, pretty nice. But uh, let's move on. Uh, we got the Swarm Drew Gulag looking like a lad as always. A uh, jobber lad now for the 27 title, but it's all good. So yeah, overall, not bad Drew Gulag. Uh, Charlotte, sorry about the image. I know it's a little crappy and content quality but overall i like this image of charlotte i'm pretty sure it looks fantastic in hd i'm sorry that it's not in hd but uh let's move on uh drew mcintyre's biomechanic car looks pretty awesome I, I must say so for myself uh looking pretty sweet with that let's see what else we got we got oh here's the pro stats guys so as you can see when you get a pro biomechanical you're looking at 4.8 million which means these cards will go up to 5 million if, I don't know if these are in momentum slots. I don't know if these cards have like, there's no gear on them as well, which is another one. And it's not, and it's not an F3. These cards will be 5 million at least once you get an F3 guaranteed. Now, I don't know if it's in momentum either, but overall, 4.8. So like I said, guys, we might be close to the brand new tier once the tier drops because it's not crazily high. We're talking like only 700k apart from what our cards are right now in the game. So I don't think this season is looking like it's going to take us forever to climb. It should be only easier to climb. So I'm looking forward to that. I really am. Uh, we do have a Swarm Pro. As you can see, look, 4.3. You're looking at around 4.4, 4.5 million with the gear and F3 status. So overall, we're only going to be two, three hundred k away from these as well, which is not a crap load. It's not. So I'm pretty confident that many of us will be in swarm tier on the release day and not in biomechanical. But again, I could be totally wrong. But stat wise, it's looking clear to be like that because we're not going to be far off. I think our weakest cards right now in my deck in the top eight is like four million. I have all heroic pros. And my females, I do have the full heroic China. And I think my worst other card is an F3 Liv Morgan Halloween or F3 Sasha Banks uh, Halloween. So we should be in the top tier. And then also we're going to have Io Shirai. And I'm going to be top 300 for that. So overall, I'm pretty confident in myself that we should be swarmed tier. At least I will be swarmed tier. If you are in the top tiers. And it's good for me as a Road to Glory account. Uh, all right, here is the Swarm Foundation. Now, as you guys can clearly see, this is something brand new coming to Supercard. 
You need to get those cards. Now, if you achieve getting those six cards from Swarm Foundation, you will be rewarded a card of a tier, whatever card you get, which is freaking amazing. I love this. Hopefully, it resets every time. Like, after you get it, you redo it again with six different cards that you don't have after you get. And then it can keep going. It's like an additional ladder reward, which would be kind of cool. So, honestly, I like this a lot. As you all know, ladder rewards are going to be uh, changed as well. So, hopefully, you guys claimed all your ladder rewards and stuff. But this is awesome. I love it. Love it. Uh, here's the Sasha Banks Biomechanic kind of card. Oh, love it. Love it. I exploded it at least twice since I made this video. Uh, Io Shirai finally in her heel stuff. Uh, uh, as you all know, SummerSlam 20, she was not in her heel. I'm like, why did they have old Io Shirai? Like, but at least LMS, we got Io Shirai sexy, and then this one looks really great too. So overall, happy with that. Umaga, man. Umaga. Uh, pretty awesome that he's in the game now. Uh, rest in peace, Umaga. But it's awesome to see him in the game. I love it. All right, we're coming towards the end here, guys. Kevin freaking Owens, as always. I love Kevin Owens, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Do the lad. So, shout out to Kevin Owens. His card, honestly, his image, though, is a little disappointing. It's like pretty much the same images as always with Kevin Owens. But what can you do? I have a lot to say about this card. Now, I hit up Funky Town saying, hey, where is my custom made El Releasement Super Card card? And then he posts this shit. And then I see the resemblance and I am in shock how close this is to me. First off, F you, Funky. <laughs> but wow. Okay, so Tugboat is in the tier. Shout out to Tugboat. And I think this is the last one, guys. And it's Sasha Banks, Behemoth Guard. Now, I could have probably gotten more content for you guys, but I think we're at 17 minutes already. And you guys have probably... I, w I want you guys to go check out the people who did actually to get the preview and stuff. They deserve all the views and all that stuff. I don't deserve it. I just want to show you guys some of the stuff that's coming out for Season 7. And I hope you guys are all looking forward to it. I'm pumped up. Sorry that I can't tell you about what super coins are going to give you and stuff like that. Again, they were not allowed to disclaim it. So I can't really do anything about that. But overall, guys, are you pumped for Season 7 as much as I am right now? I am so pumped, guys. Now, guys, if you guys want to see some amazing content coming, we do have a Road to Glory season starting on Wednesday. Now, guys, I, I, I'm i telling you right now, seeing the cards, I'm tempted not to do the Road to Glory, but I'm going to keep to myself to say, Ed, just do the Road to Glory. You'll enjoy it more and everything. Or if you don't enjoy it, at least you learn from it. So season seven will be a road to glory season. I got to stop doing that because it looks like I'm jerking off. Uh, but guys, consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video. Go check out those other content creators. I'll have their links down below. Thank you guys so, so much for everything. I am Edward. I will see you guys on Wednesday for the live stream. Please be there. I love you. If you guys want me to open your packs, please consider dropping by the stream and being on Twitter. I will open all you guys' packs and stuff on stream day launch. Uh, I'm a trustworthy person. I've opened many people's packs. They know I've never hacked anyone before. So if you guys are considering like tickets, uh, super coins, whatever you guys want, please consider dropping by and I will gladly do it for you. Guys, my name is Edward. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. We'll see you Wednesday.